Got more wild horses, guys. Good morning guys, welcome to today's vlog. Just having a bit of a walk around and checking out the area this morning. I'm kind of on the road at the moment, but it's a nice quiet sort of rural sort of spot. This is kind of like a rest area, it acts like a rest area, but barely anyone travels past here. I got up so early. Bloody hell, this fly. Look at this fly. Bloody blowfly, it's huge. It just keeps going up my legs. Anyway, got up at like 4.30 in the morning and I tried getting back to sleep, but I just couldn't get back to sleep. Tent's over here. I'm probably just going to pack up and move over to the, the seats over here and start making some breakfast. We're heading this way. So, last night we came, I should go back on the road, but we came from that direction. We're going to be riding this way and follow this road. We're going to make our way out to Maryborough, hopefully by the end of the day. Maryborough is about 82 kilometers or so from where we are right now. Woke up this morning to all the different sounds of birds amongst all this bushland, which was awesome. But yeah, the tent's over here. We have quite the uh, ant infestation at the moment. There is quite a lot of the bloody buggers all over my tent, which isn't welcoming. Check this out, I just found uh, this fella in my tent. I don't know. Uh oh, where'd he go? I don't know if he's been in here all night, but we got a Mr. Spidey. Whoa. Whoa. Uh oh, Mr. Spidey's been in my tent. Uh, back on the road. 80k is something today is looking like until Maryborough and I'm just gonna enjoy it. It's gonna be all kind of like roads like this, just rural roads. Going on gravel and we're climbing a mountain at the moment. I thought this part was going to be the steep part and I could just tell on the map. Dusty. <laughs> that was funny, the guys there in the van are like, it's great road mate. And I'm like, yeah, it's terrible. It's so corrugated. I was trying to get over for them to pass because there was another car coming the other way. So I just got over because like I need to be in the middle of the bloody road so it's smooth. Do you hear that truck? That's how bad this road is. It's a bloody shocker. <laughs> oh. yeah. Yeah, all good. All right, okay. sweet. Thank you. Have a good day. Yeah, you too, mate. Cheers. Too. So, guys, we made it to a rest stop. It's like a petrol station here. From where I left this morning, it was 82 k's, but that was like direct distance from point A to point B, like not counting like the road distance, if that makes sense. So, I thought I had 82 k's to ride. I just checked the map and I still have 81 k's to ride, so it's a bit of a mental sort of F around, but <laughs> yeah, we've only ridden one kilometer today. I think I've done like maybe 20, 30 k's already. 
but um, yeah, it's a bit of a bummer to figure that out. Um, I have like 1% bat 2% battery life. I was gonna sort of cut through this state forest, however, I don't really know like where to go and stuff. My phone's about to go flat, so it's very easier for me to just ride an extra 6Ks or so and just follow this main road that I've just got onto, which is out there. And just remember one road name, which is this road right here, into Maryborough. So yeah, let's get to Maryborough, 81 Ks. So just leaving that rest stop, riding through some beautiful forest area. Perfect place to set up the tent for tonight. Anyway, it's way too early. But I keep talking to these truckies and they keep warning me about how dangerous the bloody roads are. And it's really getting into my head. I know it's dangerous, but the way they tell it, it just becomes so much more present, the danger. So guys, my phone was flat and I couldn't use it for directions. So I was just riding and looking out for the road name and the street name and I thought I passed it or something. But then like another K down the road, it was right there. So we're on this road right now. And this road goes 60 k's all the way to Maryborough, so we just gotta follow this road all the way out. Um, yeah, give us three hours and we should be in Maryborough. That was pretty cool. It's funny though, the people there in that car. They stopped to take a picture, and because when I rode past the horses, I scared them off. <laughs> they couldn't get a photo, I don't think. <laughs> Got more wild horses, guys. We are 28 k's out of Maryborough, so we're over halfway from uh, where I last said I'd just crank it out all the way to Maryborough, but obviously. That didn't work. Feeling a bit sore, so I'm just stopping here for a bit of a rest. But yeah, we made really good progress. Did about 30 k's in an hour and 15 or so. So that's, yeah, going pretty good. It's so cool. We saw those three wild horses and then four or five with two calves or something like that. It's so like eight horses in total, wild horses. I really wanted to camp amongst these trees here where the horses are, but I was a little bit scared that maybe like the horses would probably run over the tent or something like that. That'd be pretty cool though to camp around here, I'd really... These trees just keep going. They've been going for like 30 k's. It's just, just really dense forest. Goes on forever. It's like endless camping spots. <laughs> we made it in pretty good timing. We're in Maryborough and there is a heap of these bats. Look at them. All of them are bloody bats. So I just got out of the library, I was in there for a little bit, um, it's 6 o'clock now, so it's getting dark, probably gonna cook dinner in the park or something, and then we'll just find somewhere, somewhere to camp, I don't know, I don't really know the area, I was having a look on the map, I couldn't really see like any grassy areas or anything like that, or any sort of national parks and things, but we'll, uh, we'll just have a look and see what happens. There's some pretty gnarly artwork in this town. That's Mary Poppins. Let me explain the whole uh, Mary Poppins thing. So this town's like apparently known for Mary Poppins. I guess because it's called Mary Borough. It's a dude there in the telescope. There's a little red Mary Poppins. So yeah, pretty stunning sunset to end the day. I was kind of using the drone to um, try and find a place to camp tonight. Anyway, I think they're doing a bit of a Zumba session here. Yoo -hoo! Over here, they're going off. Whoop, whoop, whoop. But anyway, guys, I am gonna get the bike going and uh, get out of here. Since we're in Maryborough, we've got to check out the Mary Poppins statue. But also this park, I think this is called Queen's Park. It has like this miniature little railway sort of setup going. It's really cool. And then it's got, I don't know what that is, like a little station. And then um, where I was over there flying the drone, it's Queen, Queen's Park, it's like a train station. It's really cool. The statue is this way. This light is so cool. 
more artwork. It looks so bloody awesome. Mary Poppins. Just riding out of town, guys. Found a park just up the road here that I think looks pretty promising. Just go there, set up, and then I can sort of come back to the town tomorrow. I really like Maryborough. Really nice town. Just stopped for a late night shop here at a food works that I was just passing by. Anyway, we got bread, coke, and apples. So the saga continues. I am at a little athletics slash like footy oval park area. I'm just at the toilets here at the moment, but there's a, like a running path that sort of goes through here, but at the back of the oval, there's just trees. I think that's gonna be the spot. So we're gonna head over there right now, check it out. So this is the athletics track. I'm gonna pop in here and see if we can find somewhere. 